Next question is from Mover and Shaker 21. What are good priming movements for golfers? Oh. Uh, Justin, didn't you create a free priming guide for this? I did. That's very specific. And yeah. I, that was back when we were like, okay, let's do some real specific stuff and see, you know, who's going to respond. So I did put together, it was, it was more of an infographic. So, it, you know, just kind of taking maybe 10 or 12 priming movements that would really help uh, golfers out and, in, in, and uh, basically take them through different uh, planes of, of movement. And uh, yeah, so it's all highlighted in something that's actually a free downloadable infographic that you can get on our mindpumpfree.com. I don't yeah. even remember what's in, I imagine what, some anti-rotational stuff? Anti-rotation stuff. I actually put a little stick mobility in there as okay. well that you can do with or without like your, your golf club even. So if you want to like, if you don't have a stick, you know, you can use your golf club uh, for some of these movements. But uh, yeah, definitely anti-rotation, rotation. rotation. Uh, you, you had like some windmill movements in there. You had some hip hinging movements in there. Um, and uh, really it's about, uh, you know, getting access to those movements and being able to have control. Uh, so that way when, uh, you know, you go to swing and everything, you have control and you have fluidity uh, in your shots. Yeah, the, the the recent study came out on priming and it shows that, first of all, something that I did not realize was that when you prime your body, by the way, for people listening who don't know what that is, think of priming like a very specific and far more effective warm up. So it's like warming up but you're literally uh, getting your body to perform better when you go into your performance, your workout, or whatever. That's what priming is. It's very specific, and it's far more effective than a warm-up, and at the very least, it reduces injury like a warm-up would. Um, so that's what that's you know, all about. But there was that one study, and they showed that priming, the effects of priming lasted at like an hour. Mm -hmm. So I, whenever I prime a client, it's always right before they would do their workout. But based according to the study, you could prime your body in an hour. You still have the benefits of it for a whole hour after you've done the priming. Now, what are the benefits? You have more power. You're more explosive, better control, better movement, better stability. So it's literally, if, if you want to add, let's say, I'm going to make up a number, but it's probably around you know, 2 to 5% performance to your whatever you're going to do then you want to do a good 10-minute uh, priming session. Uh, I, I'm, this reminds me of a story. Did you guys ever see those guys at the mall when they would sell those stupid bracelets or necklaces? That, yeah, yeah. Remember they the, were the magnet ones, right? Yes, and yeah. baseball players for a second were wearing them. Yeah. You guys remember uh, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So this is, I remember, this is right around the time I really started figuring out priming. And so I went to the mall, and I was there with, with a, a friend of mine, and there was a guy you know, talking about these magnets. Put it on, it increases your performance, and so awesome. And I remember being like, all right, I'm going to go have some fun with this guy. Let's see what happens. And one of the tests that they did was without the bracelet, you stand up on one foot and you put your arm out and then he pushes down on your arm and then he tips you over. Mm -hmm. So he does that first. He goes, try and resist as hard as you can. And then he pushes down and then you kind of tip over. Then right after he puts the bracelet on and then he does it again. And lo and behold, you're way more stable and way more balanced. And so you're like, it's the bracelet. no. It's because he primed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first set was priming your body. You're going to be better the second time around. And I told him that. I'm like, oh, you know, you just you just set my body up by pushing oh, yeah. down. Yeah. The look on his face, like, huh? <laughs> yeah, like thoracic rotation is something I think a lot of people don't really, uh, you know, get in their everyday lives and everything. So that's definitely one of those, uh, you know, areas that we focused in on and priming for like a golf swing and, and shoulder mobility, obviously hip hinging elements to that. So, you know, doing like a supine scorpion, things like that, where, but you're, you're adding intensity in terms of like intrinsic tension. So mm. this is all part of priming too, that I think a lot of people don't really put enough emphasis on is to be able to anchor a certain part of your body for that anti-rotary effect. So if you're rotating and then adding tension, you want to be able to anchor yourself properly. And then you're pulling yourself away from that anchor point, creating that tension so your body can respond appropriately. So that's all, all of that is included uh, uh, with that. Yeah. So um, it's mindpumpfree.com, by the way. And there's a golfer's guide in there and it's totally free and it literally shows all the movements and stuff Justin's talking about.